All right, next one in the series of uh, unpacking bags from SHOT Show uh, 2016 will be probably one of the funner ones. This is the swag bag. So this one has all the stuff that I grabbed and some of the other guys grabbed for me. And we're going to start off with a bonus opening of this bag. So this one was really lame. It doesn't deserve its own video. So we're going to put it in front of one of the cooler ones and it's basically a, a SOTEC, uh, SOTEC bag, uh, their P Paladin line and it's their go bag I think they called it and we've had these things for years. I think we got these in like 9 or 10 and we've been using them every year. I use them all the time. Uh, it's just a great size bag. Uh, this one's got a, some velcro on the front so for shot specifically it's nice to have, uh, if you've got some patches or patches that you're trying to represent or something, it's nice to have them handy there so they don't get lost. you got a pocket here for taking business cards. you got a pocket here for staging your own. Uh, you've got, I always walk around with it empty if I'm carrying it, and of course with a shoulder strap. Uh, inside you've got a pretty basic layout. Uh, just a giant compartment and two big pockets on either side. Oh, I forgot. There's also this wide pack, back, back pocket. So it gives you plenty of room to divide without being so complicated you lose anything. And I'm pretty sure we've done lots of videos on these in the past. This bag was inside of the pocket of one of the other packs. And uh, it had a uh, Maxpedition roll-up dump pouch in it. And the reason I bring extra bags that are empty up to shot is you never know which one you're going to use or somebody needs to borrow one. And in this case, I threw this uh, sweatshirt into there so that uh, on the way back it wouldn't get all gross and which was a good thing because we had some car trouble and the bags got tossed all over the place we went shooting in the desert bags got tossed all over the place so worked out well to have some protection uh, for that sweatshirt all right so then uh, we're gonna get into the swag bag first off this I'm pretty sure this bag came from SHOT Show 2007 no 2009 or 10 Media Day out there, they used to give you stuff, uh, and one of the things was this backpack to put all the other stuff in. So, found a skull somewhere, and got some of the posters from the girls at Century Arms. I think that's what these are, yep. Uh, worth getting, I thought. And, uh, Some pads. Actually, these pads aren't from Shot, but also from the uh, Sotek bag, actually. And those are foam inserts that we wrap around cameras and stuff. Brought a couple of badge holders for uh, the guys on the team uh, that didn't bring their own. Uh, Oak Camelback one, which I like. Made in US. I think these were made in USA. But uh, this one from First Spear. It's really low pro. Some people like that one, the old Geisley one, and uh, I think that's also Max Edition. Got some new badge holders in here from Geisley. They're handing out badge holders quite a bit. So a lot of people got these, and a lot of people got a lot of them. They are pretty cool though. Fairly simple, but decent material and in a cool woodland. I don't know if it's really woodland. It's almost like multicam. Pretty good. Uh, just not a lot of Velcro. Otherwise, pretty cool. I like having your own uh, place to put your own business cards. Pen. I don't really wear on the badge holder, but it's nice to see it, I guess. Uh, I was happy to get another Blue Force one for the collection, and this is a brand new style for me. Then another Geisley. Different style and a uh, different kind of color.
All right, so plenty of stuff for the year-long uh, Glocktober festivities. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.